Here I am Shadha Rathar from Sri Vaishnav Institute of Forensic Science and today I am presenting the forensic aspects of flex practice. So, in this we will see uh, introduction of flip prints, historical review of uh, flip prints, classification of flip prints, analysis of flip prints and recording of flip prints. So, let's get started. First we understand what is lip prints. So lip prints are the normal lines and fissures are formed of wrinkles and groove present in the zone of transition of human lip, the inner labial mucosa and the outer skin. In, uh, in other words, lip prints are the normal lines or figures or fissures which is present on the uh, individual lip prints or human lip prints. And the study of lip prints is called chiloscopy. So chiloscopy means uh, so the chiloscopy is derived from Greek word chilos which means lips and scoping which means seeing. So lip prints are unique to a uh, unique of every person and uh, lip prints are indivi uh, individual have a unique lip prints and except monozygotic tools and lip prints are permanent and unchangeable and uh, lip prints are identified in the earliest stage of 6 week of uh, gestation periods. So, uh, now we start, now we see history of lip prints. So, history of uh, lip prints is, in 1902, R. Fisher was the first anthropologist who described the furrows on the right part of human lips. Uh, in, uh, later, in 1932, one of the friends, greatest criminologist, Edmund Locard, who was first recommended the use of lip printing, personal identific identification and criminalization. Further, Suzuki and Suchihashi who developed another study which resulted in a new classification for lip prints. They confirmed that the lip prints after healing was equal to that before the injury. So, according to the classification of Suchihashi, the classification of lip prints. So, according to the Suchihashi classification, lip prints are classified in six types. First, uh, type 1, along vertical groups, which cover entire lips. Second, type second. Uh, or type uh, one dash uh, short vertical groups which uh, cover half part of the lip. Type third uh, fork fork of bifurcation. Type uh, third intersecting groups. Type fourth uh, rectangular or uh, rectangular groups. And type fifth miscellaneous and uh, miscellaneous groups. So the next topic is analyzing and recording of flip prints. So analyzing of lip prints, searching for the lip prints in a crime scene investigation can be very important in stabilizing the true nature of the facts. Lip prints can be linked a subject to a specific location if found on cloths or other objects such as glass, cups or even cigarette butts. Sometimes lip prints will be seen as lipstick mirrors. Lipstick are the complex substance which have in their constitution several compounds or oils or waxes. The color of the lipstick is due to its organic inks and in inorganic pigments. All lip prints are important, even the ones that are not visible, which is called latent prints. So, the, the vermilion water of the lip has minor salivary and sebaceous glands, which together with the moisturizing done by the tongue leaves, to the possibility of the existence of lip prints. Latent lip prints. So, latent lip prints are the study in a similar way to fingerprints using similar techniques. Lip, when lip prints are located on difficult surfaces such as porous or multicolored prints, latent prints can be easily seen with fluorescent types. Ways of recording lip prints. If a lip print located on a non porous surface, then lip print can be photographed and enlarged. Using old transparent overlaps, it is possible to make an overlap process. Development of lip prints can be made using several substances such as aluminum powder, silver metallic powder, silver nitrate powder, plum carbonate powder, fat black aniline dyer, and cobalt oxide. All lip prints contain liquid lipids which make their development possible by using lycopene -like styles. Sometimes the uses of fluorescent reagent is necessary, especially when the color of the developer and the color of the surface on which the lip print lies are the same or when lip prints and hold hold up right. All the lip prints can be photographed directly covering them with lipsticks. Allow better to the lip prints should be recorded making several recordings until all transfer mediums are exhausted. The lip prints are covered with transparent overlays and when using a magnified lens, the dress can be successful. So the 
confusing. Identifying lip live or dead people is often a time consuming process. Identifying living people is sometimes difficult because people do not normally wish to be identified. Therefore, in order to achieve this goal, people are still wise, they are present in various ways. Identifying them that there are full different set of problems which are related to the composition, scavenger, animal action, the circumstances in which death occurs. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you.